What's most important to you in buying windows, siding, or doors? Is it energy savings? Cost, quality, or warranty? Window World offers it all by searching Window World today. Let's have a look now at Community Focus here on the WHKY News. I'm Ralph Mangum. WHKY's Ariana Mack is standing by with our Arts and Entertainment Bulletin Board, which includes information from Full Circle Arts, the Catawba Science Center, the Green Room, and the Old Colony Players. First, though, we'll check in with Sarah Killian, who has news from the city of Hickory. We'll hear about a retirement, the Saturday Screenings Film Series, and Hickory 101. Here's Sarah. Joining me in Community Focus, Communications Specialist Sarah Killian with the City of Hickory Office of Communications. Sarah, what is new with the City of Hickory? Well, after nearly 30 years of service with the City of Hickory, former Finance Officer Melissa Miller is set to retire on August 1st. Miller started working for the City of Hickory in 1995 as the Customer Service Representative in the Collections Division of the Finance Department. She was promoted to several different positions within the Finance Department before ultimately taking over management of the department when she was promoted to the leadership role of Finance Officer in March of 2012. She held that position until just earlier this year when she transferred to work full-time on the city's conversion to Tyler Technology Enterprise ERP software up until her retirement date. We greatly appreciate Melissa Miller's contributions to the city of Hickory over the length of her career and wish her well in her upcoming retirement. A reception will be held in her honor at City Hall from 4.30 to 5.30 p.m. on Tuesday, July 16th, prior to the Hickory City Council meeting. Of course, she will be greatly missed, I'm sure, in the Hickory office, um, and that seems like it's going to be a party at City Hall. Um, what are some upcoming events for the middle of summer, really? Yes, so our first Saturday Screens free movie night is coming up this weekend. You can join us downtown this Saturday, July 13th at 8.30 p.m. to watch The Little Giants. Concessions and games will be available before the movie, so bring your blankets or your lawn chairs to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Special thanks to our presenting sponsor, Jay Brown Realtors, the Hickory Parks Recreation and Sports Tourism Department, and Foot Candle Film Society for making this series possible. Saturday screenings will continue this summer on the second and fourth Saturdays of July and August. Upcoming films include Homeward Bound, The Incredible Journey, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and The Princess Bride. Of course, and I've said it once, those are some great movies. It's going to be a great time. And look for more on WHKY. We'll be catching up with the City of Hickory Sports Tourism Department about more on Saturday screenings. And I'm hearing about an amazing opportunity. Hickory 101, was it? Yes, so if you're interested in learning about the inner workings of your local government, this is something that you definitely do not want to miss. The City of Hickory will offer a five-week class called Hickory 101 this fall. So each week, participants will learn about city functions and departments by touring facilities, seeing demonstrations, and hearing presentations. Hickory 101 is kind of a condensed version of our popular neighborhood college program that provides a broad overview of Hickory's local government in five sessions. The class will start September 26th and run Thursday afternoons from 1 30 to 5 p.m. through October 24th. There is no cost to participate but space is limited and filling up fast for this class. You can find more information and of course register online at the city's website. Of course, great opportunity and how can we stay connected with the city of Hickory? As always, for more news and information about what's happening in your city of Hickory, visit hickorync.gov and follow us on social media. Always a pleasure, Sarah. Thank you for joining us in Community Focus. And I'll add a few more events coming up in your Hickory Metro. Full Circle Arts is inviting artists to enter a photography exhibition and competition open to all visual artists in the area using photographic media. It is called My Personal Inspiration, August 1st through the 31st. Dates to deliver art entries are July 19th and 20th, Ribbons will be awarded. Visit FullCircleArts.org or call 828-322-7545 for additional information. Catawba Science Center is officially launching a brand new exhibition on July 10th. Expanding Horizons, the Solar System and Beyond is a permanent exhibit in the Hall of Astronomy located just outside the Mill Holland Planetarium. Explore our solar system and learn all about space 
space travel, where we've been, where we're going, and how new technology will help us get there. Prepare to expand your horizons with immersive exhibit pieces such as Mars Pod that allows visitors to experience what it would be like to live on the red planet. For more information, visit catabascience.org. The Green Room Community Theater announced audition dates for the 19th annual Shakespeare in the Park production. Julius Caesar, Beware the Ides of March, William Shakespeare's most famous historic tragedies about the events leading up to the assassination of Julius Caesar and the aftermath of the conspiracy. Auditions will be on July 21st and 22nd at 7 p.m. at the Old Post Office Playhouse located at 10 South Main Avenue, Newton. Please enter at the lower level door at the back of the building. You only need to attend one night of auditions. The Green Room Community Theater will also present a special performance of the Green Bean Players in Alice's Adventures in Wonderland on Thursday, July 11th at 10 a.m. for seniors 60 years of age or older. This performance is free and advanced registration is required. Old Colony players have their 56th consecutive season of the historic outdoor drama from this day forward coming up on Fridays and Saturdays, July 12th through August 10th. Starting at 8 p.m. at the Fred B. Cranford Amphitheater located at 401 Church Street Northwest in Valdez. This amazing show chronicles the faith and hardships of the Waldensian people and their subsequent move to North Carolina to establish the town of Valdez. Get your tickets at oldcolonyplayers.com. That's all for the Community Focus Bulletin Board. Get out and explore your Hickory Metro. I'm Ariana Mack for WHKY. Thank you, Ariana, and thanks to Sarah Killian as well. You can catch Community Focus every weekday along with all the rest of the WHKY news on Over the Air TV on Channel 14.2. We are also online on our website and on YouTube. On behalf of Rob Eastwood, Ariana Mack, Jason Savage, and Sarah Killian, I'm Ralph Mangum. Thank you for joining us. This has been the WHKY News.